UFC 299. This is one of the most stacked cards I have ever seen. And this is going to be a quick video just going over all my bets and a quick little pick for every single fight on the card. If you want my full breakdown, go to the video I posted just a couple days ago. That's going to be almost so one of the longer videos I've done in a while. It's like 50 minutes. I try to keep it a little shorter, but this card's so good. 14 fights had to get into it. So this one is just going to be super short, super sweet. We're going to get to the bets. Quick pick. First fight of the night, Joanne Wood, Marina Moroz. No bet on this one. Uh, I think the line is pretty justified. I got Marina Moroz. I'm going to take her probably decision. A sub is possible. Would I be shocked if Joanne Wood pulled off the upset? No, I wouldn't. But especially with her, this being a retirement fight, I'm going to go Marina Moroz to win the rematch and make it 2-0 against Joanne Wood. No bet for me. Next up, we got CJ Vergara, biggest underdog on the card. He's taking on Asu Almabayev. Um, I think the line's pretty justified on this one as well. Almabayev, biggest favorite on the card, I think. One of the biggest favorites. Um, I, 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 if anything, it would be a Vergara money line. Um, but I just can't get to it. Vergara uh, just doesn't have a lot of power. He's not a huge finisher. I don't really see... Uh, a, unless Asu tries to grapple him and just completely gasses, I don't really see a way Vergara pulls it off. So... Typically, I do think this line is a little crazy, but at the end of the day, Vergara, they're giving it Asu Vergara for a reason. So give me Asu by sub. No bet on this one either. Same for the next fight. I mean, Rebellus to Spain, big prospect, but he's only 4-0. He only has like a couple minutes of fight time total. You can watch his whole career in a couple minutes. I think he knocks Josh Parisian out in the first minute of the fight, but... uh you know, I, I can't get to this. Josh Parisian isn't somebody I ever want to put my hard-earned dollars on. Uh, but it is a heavyweight fight. Do I want to bet, you know, if minus 350 on a guy with like four minutes of total fight time and th three minutes of those was in one fight? Not really. So give me Despain, first round KO, no bet yet. I'm, sure, I'm telling you, we do have a good amount of action on this card. We're getting to, getting closer. Next up, we got Philippe Lenz taking on Ion Kutalaba. I am getting close. Uh, you know, I, I'm thinking about a lens bet money line, but his his volume does scare me. I do think Kudalaba could finish him in the first round. Uh, if you're playing Kudalaba, play him first round finish. I still haven't seen that prop drop. They're really BSing on the props for the bottom of this card. But um, overall, I, I'm going to go with the underdog lens. I just don't know if he he's never been someone I've wanted to bet. But Kudalaba has about three minutes to to get you out of there. Otherwise, he typically loses. Give me Lens straight as an underdog, but haven't bet it yet. I, I don't know if I will. I'm close, but this is such a low-level fight. I don't know if I want to. Next up, first bet of the night, we got Michelle Pereira taking on Mikhail Olizechuk. Um, I like Pereira. I think he's the more well-rounded guy. I think he's he could mix in a couple takedowns. I think he can you know, keep him at range and just... His striking has gotten a lot better. I do think, um, you know, with cutting a lot less weight going up to 185, even though I still think he's bigger, which is kind of crazy considering he's coming up a weight class and Ola Zaychuk's coming down. But I still think Pereira is bigger, which is crazy. He used to make 170. But um, I think he's just a more well-rounded guy. And I think even though I've never been high on Pereira, I think, honestly, it's time to give him a little bit of respect. This dude has honestly gotten a lot better. And, you know, he's staying a lot more... Um, tame. He's not getting as reckless. So give me Pereira. I took him minus 150. Uh, I just took him straight on the money line. Um, don't blame anyone taking like sub shots or something, but I didn't like the props enough. So give me Pereira straight on the money line. Minus 150. Next up, we got Pedro Munoz taking on Kyler Phillips. And I do think this line... Um, I get Kyler Phillips being the favorite. Pedro Munoz been getting out worked a lot lately. Um, I do think Kyler Phillips is probably going to do more my pick is going to be Kyler Phillips by decision, but I haven't seen a line that really sticks out to me enough. I don't blame you for playing Munoz as an underdog, but no bet for me. Give me Kyler Phillips by decision. Pedro's so tough, so durable, but I'm going to pick Kyler just to outwork him to a decision. Let's move on to the next fight. We got Matus Gamera taking on RDA. Matus Gamera, the uh, second biggest favorite on the card, I believe. I got him at like minus 300. I parlayed him up with another guy we're going to be talking about in a second. Um, but I just like him straight. If you're playing, you know, plus 400 RDA, I can't blame you at this point. I think the line is a little too wide. I wouldn't parlay Gamrod anymore. But I parlayed him minus 300, especially when Betway was giving some pretty crazy lines on him and 
uh, certain somebody in the main event. So give me Gamrot in a parlay. Again, I would not parlay him at this point, but if you got him a week ago, I think it's a good bet. Next up, we got Caitlin Suramara, a.k.a. 2K again, taking on Macy Barber, man. I told y'all I was looking at either Moneyline or by decision for 2K again, um, and I followed through with that. The decision prop uh, dropped, and I went ahead and took that. I got uh, Caitlin Chukagian, um, and I think this is uh, plus 265, is, uh, and I took her by decision. Um, yeah, I just think she's the better minute winner. I think Macy Barber could, you know, if she gets on top of her, could be dangerous. Does she have more power? Yes. Do some of the things Caitlin said in her interview scare me a little bit? It makes me want to root for her, but it does sketch me out a little bit. But at the same time, I just think she should win this fight. Give me Caitlin Chukagian, a.k.a. Sir Minara. Uh, I'm going to take her to win a close decision. I like the line. I don't. She never finished anybody in the UFC. I don't think she'll start here. Macy is tough. She's never been finished. Caitlin's never finished anybody in like 10 years, but I think she wins the fight by decision. Next up, we got Curtis Blades taking on Jailton Almeida. Um, man, I took Curtis Blades here. I just think he's the more well-rounded guy. Could Jailton take him down and submit him in the first? Yes. We haven't seen a lot of people try to wrestle Curtis, so maybe he can do it. Overall, I'm going to go with the guy I've seen more from. I'm going to go with the guy more well-rounded. I think he can make Almeida work, get him tired, and land the better shots in the feet. So give me Curtis Blades. I took him at minus 105. I just think he's a better fighter. Next up, we got Piotr Jan taking on Song Yadong. Um, man, this is like even money. Uh, and I lean Piotr Jan, but, and I'm really tempted. I might end up with a bet on him. It does seem like a buy low spot. You know, when do you really get to get Jan at minus 115? I do think he should be the favorite. It's tough, though. I haven't got to it yet. I think, um, you know, Song Yadong does have all the momentum. He's got uh, all the confidence right now. Jan, you got to think, you know, is he, he said it himself. He's got to win this fight to show himself he can do it. Um, so that does worry me a little bit, but I'm going to go Jan, Jan by decision. I am looking at uh, probably betting the fight goes the, the distance. I'll probably honestly put a money put a bet on that today. Both these guys never been finished. Both these guys so durable. I don't see a finish happening. I'm going to pick Piotr Jan by decision. I'll probably, in the very least, going to bet... Uh, Fight goes the distance. We'll see if I bet Jan. Uh, stay tuned on Twitter. I'll be. I always tweet out all my bets as always. Um, next up, we got Gilbert Burns taking on JDM Jack Della Maddalena. Um, man, I have a slight lean towards Jack, but I am like man minus one seventy, minus one sixty for you know a guy who's you know he's had some iffy uh, performances. Gilbert Burns, if he gets on top of him, we're probably gonna see a submission. I was looking at a Burns by sub prop. But the, li the line wasn't that, you know, enticing. I'm going to pick JDM, JDM, TKO, or Decision. Uh, but no bet on this one, probably. I, I might just watch this one as a fan. Next up, we got Kevin Holland versus MVP Michael Page. Um, yeah, I got Kevin Holland here, man. I know, am I sitting here thinking he's going to go out here and wrestle, use his jiu-jitsu advantage? Um, no, I don't. But if, for whatever reason, he winds up on top, he's got the advantage there. I think he's the more durable guy. Um... I just think, you know, he'll throw more. Michael Page getting a little up there at this point in his career. I think he's coming to the UFC a little late. I think Holland's a dangerous guy, more durable guy. I think he'll do more. Page, a little low volume sometimes. He's just trying to snipe your head off. If he doesn't, and Holland is a hard guy to take his head off, then I'm going to go Kevin Holland to win more minutes. I'm going to take Holland by decision. Wouldn't be shocked, though, if there's a finish. Dustin Poirier versus BSD in the co-main event, man. Um, this is one... Um, I do think I get why BSD is the uh, decent favorite, you know, momentum again, confidence is a big thing in this sport. Um, and, and I, and I do see that I get that you have a lot of that, the, the, the younger got new guard coming up with the confidence, the momentum against the old guard struggling like Dustin Poirier, Piotr Jan, Curtis Blades. There's a lot of that going on, but you know, I do feel like, man, people, this line can be a little bit disrespectful. Like, Dustin Poirier, he did get caught. He did get knocked out. He is 35, and everybody's hating. You know, that's a tough number in MMA right now. But I do think, you know, you got to remember, like, the five-round experience, much tougher comp level competition. I don't think Ben Wall is just going to take him down and blow through him on the ground. Um, the five rounds, you know, maybe we'll see BSD, you know, be able to do a hard five. I do think he's got good cardio, but we haven't seen it yet. So I like to go with what I've seen. 
I'm going to pick the underdog, Dustin Poirier. I haven't bet him yet, but the li- I have been in no rush because the line has been you know moving in my favor. Everyone and their mother's uncle is on BSD. I literally don't think I've seen one. And it's a lot of people I respect, too, so I'm not knocking it. Um, and I get it. I honestly understand. Momentum is a huge thing in this sport. Confidence is a huge thing in this sport. Benoit Saint-Denis is good. He's hungry. He's got more tread on the tires. But um, yeah, I'm going to go with Dustin Poirier for the upset. Um, I have plus 190 I'm looking at right now. It's getting real tempting, man. I'm probably going to end up with some money on Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier money line. No money on it yet, though. Uh, next up, we got the main event. I am picking Sean O'Malley to win by decision. I bet this one a little interesting, though. I don't do this a lot, but I took Sean O'Malley as the second leg of that parlay with Gamrod. He was minus 200 on Betway. I mean... For me, I, I think, yes, Cheeto did win the first fight. I'm not someone who thinks it was just a total fluke, but at the end of the day, I think Sean has gotten made more improvements since then. I do think the first fight was a little fluky. Again, like I'm not somebody who thinks the win doesn't count. It counts, but it, is it something he's going to easily replicate? No. I do think the leg kicks are a smart thing for Cheeto, and I do think the late finish is on the table. We haven't seen Sean go five yet. We know Marlon could go five, and we know he's super durable. Durability is a little bit of a question for Sean. We know we can take a shot to the head, but durability is a little bit scary. So I did take Sean in that parlay. I did take fight goes the distance, minus 110. Or was it plus 110? Uh, I think minus 110. Um, and yes, minus 110. And uh, But I also did hedge with uh, Vera wins in round three or four. That was plus uh, 1150, I believe. And then... Uh, uh, Vera wins in round five, and I think that was like plus 2,800. I just think if Cheeto wins, it's going to be a finish late. Um, I don't think there'll be an early finish on this this side. I don't think Cheeto wins a decision. Those are the only two outcomes I don't make money with the way I bet that. So I'm going to run through my picks or my bets one more more time. We got uh, Kevin Holland straight minus 130. We got Curtis Blades straight minus 107. We got... uh, Michelle Pereira, minus 150 straight. We have Gamra and O'Malley, uh, plus 104. Um, we have uh, MVP versus Kevin Holland goes... The, oh, I didn't say that one earlier. We got MVP versus Kevin Holland goes the decision at minus 164. Um, and we have uh, Sean O'Malley and Marlon Vera go to decision at minus uh, 110. We have the Cheeto round props, and we have Chukagian by decision. Those are my bets so far. I'm also looking, to, like I said, at that Song Yadong versus Piotr Jan uh, goes the distance. I'm looking at a Dustin Poirier potentially. I'm looking at a Jan potentially. Um, none of those lines are, are you know going away from me, so I've been in no rush. But that's just my quick picks, my bets. Uh, watch the full breakdown if you want to hear why. Um, this has already gone a little longer than I wanted to, but... It is $2.99, man. I'm super hyped. Cannot wait. So make sure you leave a like on this video. It helps the algorithm. Let me know in the comments your favorite bets, your most confident picks. And check me out in the caption below for my Twitter, all that kind of stuff. I tweet out all my bets. And make sure you subscribe. Turn those post notifications on. I do these videos for every single card. Have been doing it for like four years. So I appreciate you guys. Always showing love. Make a bunch of money. Went, uh... Enjoy the fights. And I'm going to be going live to talk about the fights probably like tomorrow night or something. Until then, man, I will see you all soon. Enjoy. Make some money. Peace.